Hello boys and girls. Today we are starting a new chapter called Area of Polygons. So we're going to be learning about different shapes and how to find the area of those shapes. Um, we know that finding the area of a rectangle or a square, you do length times width, but that does not work for all shapes. Today we are going to start with finding the area of a triangle. So let's take a look at our triangle. In a triangle, we have two very important sides. One is called the base and one is called the height. So the base of the triangle is usually the bottom of the triangle. In this case, for my blue triangle, this bottom leg right here, this is the base. And in the green triangle, this side would be my base. Now the height of the triangle. We have two other sides here. We have one that goes straight up from the base and one that's kind of slanted. The height is always the one that makes a nice square 90 degree right angle with the base. They are perpendicular lines to each other. So my height for the blue triangle is this left side here because it is a nice perfect square corner from the base. This angle right here, this is not a square corner, so that's not the height. Over here, at the side that makes a nice square corner, well, it's not this one, it's this one. So this side right here would be the height of my triangle. This side length is the full height of the triangle, and over on the blue one, this side length is the full height of the triangle. So it's really important that you know the base and the height because the area of a triangle, the formula that you use is one half times the base times the height. That's the formula that we use to find the area of a triangle. So you multiply one half times however long the base is times however long the height is. And we're gonna do a little bit of a practice with that right now so you can see. But before we do that, um, I just wanna point out that not all triangles have a nice clear height. For example, this triangle, I can see this bottom line is the base, but which line is the height? How do we measure the height of this triangle? Well, this is not a nice right corner, and neither is this side. Neither one of these lines show the height of the triangle. The height is measured from the base straight up to the top. So in this triangle, this line here would be my height, and no, that wasn't drawn in before, um, so just be careful. Uh, if I ever ask you to find the area of your triangle, I will make sure you know what the height is. Like, I will have that line drawn in. Um, it's not always drawn in the triangle, though. This height, sometimes it is taken and it's moved out to the side. So a lot of times we follow... This line, we just go boop, 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 right here, and we drop the height on the outside of the triangle, and we don't put it on the inside. So you will see that sometimes, too, where the height is kind of drawn in with dashes on the edge because they didn't want to make the inside of the triangle too um, clustered. So in order for our image to stay nice and clear, sometimes the height will be drawn out here on the edge. Okay, now let's practice finding the area of triangles. So remember, area is one half times the base times the height. Actually, it's really important to know that a lot of times it's not even written out like this. You'll probably usually see the formula written like this. Area equals one half. Now remember, we did equations already, so if you're multiplying a number with a variable, you don't need a symbol. It's just one half times base times height, one half BH. A lot of times you'll see it written that way. These two formulas are equivalent, they're the same thing. So you're probably saying to yourself, oh God, a fraction. Well, don't worry because there are ways that you can get around working with a fraction. For example, multiplying by one half is the same thing as dividing by two. So if you wanted, you could first multiply the base times the height 
and then divide that answer by 2 because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So you could do base times height first and then divide by 2 because multiplying 1 half is the same thing as dividing by 2. Your other option is turn it into a decimal. What's the decimal version of 1 half? It's 0 0.5. So the area equals 0 0.5 times the base times the height. Let's start practicing so you have a better idea of what we're doing here. Okay, so for... Our first example, and by the way, if you don't have your notebook out, shame on you. Start the video over and copy down all the notes so far, but make sure you have your notebook out so you can copy these down and do them with me. So our first yellowy-orange triangle here, we want to find the area. So we know that the area is one-half times the base times the height. Um, so let's figure out what the base and the height are. What are we going to be multiplying? We have to be multiplying one-half times what? What's the base of this triangle? It's 30 feet. So 1 half times 30 times the height. And what's the height of this triangle? Oh, here's that nice right corner. So the height going straight up, the height of this triangle is 25. So I personally... <laughs> It's multiplication. You can multiply any two numbers first. It doesn't matter which order that you multiply in. I personally like to multiply the whole numbers first. So if I do 30 times 25, if you don't know that off the top of your head, you can do it um, on your scrap paper, but 30 times 25 is 750. So now we're going to do 1 half times 750. So you can either do 750 times a half, or you can do 750 times 0 0.5, or you can just do 750 divided by 2. No matter how you do it, you're going to get the answer 375. So the area of this triangle is 375, and then we have to label it. Where Our unit is feet, and since it's area, it's squared. 375 feet squared is the area of this yellow triangle here. Let's try another one. My green triangle. Okay, so area equals one half times the base, and in this problem the base of the triangle is 10 centimeters. So one half times 10, and then we're going to multiply that by the height, which we can see is 14. Again, you can multiply in any order. If you want to do a half times 10 first, you can do that. 1 half times 10, or 10 divided by 2, is 5. And then, oh, my pen. And then you're going to do 5 times 14. And we get the answer, um, it's 70. Yeah, 70. So in this problem, my area is 70, and we have to use our units, centimeters squared. Okay, and then let's do one more down here. So this triangle, it doesn't have anything labeled, but it's on a grid, so that will help us. We know how to find the length of something using the grid. Um, okay, so here's my right corner. And we know that the height goes up from the base. So that means this side right here has to be the base of my triangle. And how many units is this base? Well, it's one, two, three squares. So my base of this triangle is three. It just looks funny because my triangles turn sideways, but if you flip your head or flip the computer, you'll see that this is the base, which means my height is this line right here. From the bottom to the top, we see one, two, three, four, four units. So we're going to do one half times three times four. Well, three times four is twelve. So now you have to do half times 12, or 0.5 times 12, or 12 divided by 2. Either way, you're going to get the answer 
that the area is 6 units squared. Since we don't know what the units are, we just write units. Oh, this pen is going to be the death of me. Units squared. Okay, there we go. So if there's no units labeled, we just count the units because it's on the grid. All right, let's do three more practice problems, and I want you guys to try them on your own first. Mm, how do I do this? Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, copy down these three triangles in your notebook and find the area of these three triangles, and then we'll go through together and check our answers. All right, now that hopefully you've done these by yourselves, let me put this one back so we'll have room. Okay, let's find the area of these three triangles. So we know the area is one half times base times height. Area equals one half times, in this triangle, what is the base? It's this bottom line down here. One, two, three, four, five is my base. We're going to multiply that by the height, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so oh, let me go back in. So what should we start with? We could do 5 times 8 first. We know that 5 times 8 is 40, so now we're going to need to do 0.5 times 40. So that means that the area, half of 40 would be 20. So units squared is my area. 20 units squared for the purple triangle. For the pinkish triangle, so we're going to do half times, oops, where's my equal sign? Okay, so what is the base of this triangle? Well, it's right here. This triangle is not sideways, so this is the bottom. 3.4, ooh, a decimal, okay, times 2.7 because that's the height. So now you can multiply in any order that you want, but you're going to be multiplying 0 0.5 times 3.4 times 2.7, and you're going to get the answer of 4.59. 4.59. You guys know how to multiply with decimals. Um, feet squared. Okay, so you could have done 0 0.5 times 3.4 and then multiply the 2.7, or you could have started with 3.4 and 2.7. It does not matter what order you multiply in, as long as you multiply all three numbers. And then lastly, we have our green triangle down here. So my area is going to be half times the base, and in this triangle, the base is 2.1 centimeters times the height, we see it drawn here, but they put it out on the edge, is 1.8 centimeters. Okay, so let's multiply. 0 0.5 times 2.1 times 1.8. And again, it does not matter what order you multiply them in, because multiplication you can do in any single order that you want. But no matter what, you should get the answer 1.89 centimeters squared. That's the area of the green triangle. Okay, so recap. All we did today was learn how to find the area of a triangle. We do that by multiplying one half times base times height or 0 0.5 times base times height. It's the same thing. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.